Good morning, viewers. My name is Saurabh Suman and I am a student of class 12th. I had made a Wendy graph generator and today I am here to demonstrate its functioning. Friends, this is my Wendy graph generator. Firstly, we will discuss the parts of this Wendy graph generator. As we can see, I had this skeletal structure which I had made up of PVC pipe. The base is made up of plywood. I had used a 12 volt DC motor for the purpose. Using this wire, I will supply 12 volt, 9 volt or 4 volt DC supply as per requirement. Friends, this is a metal spike. It is connected through the earth, which I will connect it with this. The positive charge from earth will get concentrated over here and will ionize and finally get transferred to the belt. I had made this belt using PVC pipe, sorry PVC tape. I have used two spinners, one down and another up. I had used Teflon tap for down spinner. As we know Teflon tape is, possesses positive charge upon rubbing. For the up spinner I had used a nylon cloth as we can see it over here. The belt gains positive charge and it travels from down to up. The up metal spikes take away these charges. The gathered charges are transferred using this wire to this metal tip. Now this is the heart of my Wendy graph generator. It is my shell. I had used two smoothly curved bowl for the purpose. As we can see it is totally hollow from inside. I had thoroughly connected these two bowls using the tip. Now we put the bowl on this metal. So the charge which is transferred using this spike will get to the small metal and as the shell surface have lower potential the positive charge will come on this surface and the quantity of charge will go on increasing on the shell surface making the surrounding air ionize. I had connected the motor of my Wendy Graph generator to fold volt DC and connected this earthing wire to a big rod. As we can see here, the wire is taking the charges from this rod. The charges are getting settled over those spikes. Getting ionized, these charges are transferred to the belt. The belt takes the charges all the way down to up. The upper spikes take these charges to the inner small metal tip. As the small metal tip have higher potential as compared to the shell surface, the charge get transferred to the shell surface, making it charged. We will wait, we will wait for about 30 seconds. Now I am going to bring my hands near the shell. Let's see the spark. See, I am bringing my hand towards this and see the spark. Let's see it once again and here my hands are going on and see the depth. This shows that the charge settle on the surface of the cell travels through the air to get into my hand. Now let's do another experiment using tissue paper strips. As we can see I have this tissue paper strip. As we bring the tissue paper strips near to the cell we will see that it will get attractive. See friends, it's getting attracted. It's getting attracted. See, I have joined these tissue, these tissue paper strips on the surface of the shell. On putting on my Wendy graph generator, let's see what happened to these strips. I'm putting on the switch, and here we go. The strips will slowly come up. As we can see, they are coming up due to charge. This, the tissue strips possess charge and comes up due to repulsion with each other. Slowly they are coming up. Finally they are up. And let's see that if I put my hands near them, what happens? So now I am bringing my hand near to them.
this attraction happens due to the charge on the tissue strips and my neutral hands the charge are trying to get on my hands though it result in attraction as you can see it over here so by this my experiments are over so at last i would like to thank my physics teacher mr mukesh kumar roy sir and my parents for the support thank you